Hi, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Kurt Jacobson, the Fast and Furious Cook, and today we're going to make smoked salmon spread, one of my favorite appetizer dishes. Now you can buy these little four ounce packages of smoked salmon in oh, several different grocery stores. I bought this at Whole Foods. We're going to pop this open and see what we have here. It is a hot smoked salmon, not lox or cold smoked salmon. Big difference. For this dish, you got to have hot smoked salmon. Now we're going to go ahead and peel the skin off of this because that is not part of the dish. We'll take this little bit of meat off there and then we're going to see if it has any bones. You can just run your finger along that and see if there's any bones. It seems like they're removed. Now we're just going to bust this up by hand into the bowl, flaking it. You don't need to cut this with a knife. And that ought to do it. The mixer is going to bust it up further. Okay, now I'm going to cut up the jalapeno. And this is on my website, fastandfuriouscook.com. You can find this recipe. What I'm doing here is just a half version of the recipe. That means one package of cream cheese, that's an eight ounce package instead of two, and four ounces of smoked salmon instead of eight ounces. And you want these uh, jalapenos diced pretty small for this. And you never know how hot a jalapeno is until you taste it. This one has a little heat, not a lot, but it'll be okay. Ever since that jalapeno popper craze got started, people said, ow, that's a hot jalapeno, I can't take it. So the powers that be manufactured a not so hot jalapeno. And nowadays it's hard to find a hot jalapeno in a grocery store because most of them are wimpy. But I got these at the Chinese market and they got a pretty good kick to them. Not like the ones I grow in my garden in the summer, those have a big kick to them. We got our green onions. We're gonna cut them now because we're in cutting mode, but we're gonna add them towards the end. Get that wimpy piece out of there. Trim the ends. And these add both color and flavor to this appetizer dish. And we're looking to get about a tablespoon or two. Depends on how much you like green onion. All right, now we're gonna take our block of cream cheese, peel it open. it on in there. We're going to get the old handheld mixer. Start out kind of slow. Kick her up a gear now. And you can see how that's just busting that salmon up. And now that I got this pretty well mixed up, we're going to finish it off by plopping in a clove of garlic squished through the old garlic press. Using the back side of the knife, we'll just scrape that on in there. That's just one medium clove. And now we're gonna mix that in real good. Now, if this is too thick, sometimes what I'll do is I'll add a tablespoon or two of plain yogurt, and that'll thin this out. It just depends on what you're gonna do with this. Right now, it's uh, the right consistency to use on a cracker or on uh, celery. You can just fill celery sticks and serve a, a tray of those as an appetizer platter. It's plenty good like that. And now we have this all mixed up. And the reason we don't put the green onions in with uh, the rest of the stuff is it would just pulverize them. So we're gonna put them in here. And we're just gonna hand mix them in nice and soft. Might as well get all of them. 
So here we go. It's almost like folding them in. There's no need to pulverize these. And for today's demonstration, we're going to go ahead and put these on a celery stick. This makes a lovely appetizer. Every year when I go up to Alaska, I bring back some of this that I catch up there and smoke. And I make this all year long, about once every month. It's really good on crackers. It's not bad on a tortilla chip even. It's uh, good to spread on a bagel. There's just a few great ways to use this stuff and many more to be discovered. So there you have it, our nice little smoked salmon spread on celery sticks ready to eat. Hope you enjoyed this session of Fast and Furious Cook doing smoked salmon spread. Hope you make some soon. Bye y'all.